it's a piece that is a celebration, a party for the orchestra. There are many solos. Of course, the biggest solo is for the concertmaster, who is this, you know, the symbol of Scheherazade, who has to tell her story every night um, to this, you know, very uh, angry and violent sultan to make sure that, you know, he's not angry or else she will get killed. And for me, it's also, you know, for the conductor, this is a piece how you have to, you know, put the whole tapestry and the stories and the little episodes together. Um, and it's, you know, quite, you know, I always think about this, this never, uh, I can never feel completely comfortable because there are always like little moments and corners that are like, you know, have a little, like, ooh, you know. Um, but it's f so fun and full of imagination, colors. And, and I also, of course, this piece, um, if we talk about today in our world, of course, women, um, we have now more opportunities. Um, people want to hear our voices, our stories. You know, it's also wonderful. This week we have actually a lady concertmaster. This is like a moment for women, actually, to, you know, take the, the, the chance to tell your story and people want to hear it. Um, so that is like a little extra um, meaning for me to do this piece now. So I hope everyone um, will enjoy it. I, you know, took piano lessons. I learned how to play the cello a little bit to join the youth orchestra. I have sung in choirs like almost my entire uh, childhood life and also university. And, um, but I also love psychology. So I actually went I, uh, to study psychology instead of music, but it's always, you know, music was very strong um, in my life. And I actually had an opportunity to conduct a few moments, the Dies Ire in Verdi's Requiem in the university. And I think that was just, it's like a thunderbolt, like boom on my head telling me, I think this is the spot where uh, I had to be. And I think once, for us to find that, you know, for, for your life, like this fire is just so strong that you cannot doubt anymore. Um, and of course, being a conductor, and I love psychology, is like you have music and the psychology together. It's basically, um, you know, how to get people to do what we love so much and we all care so much and to unite 80 and 100 people in one moment to do their best, to find, um, you know, to, to, reun to unite everyone in one vision. And that is something, when it happens, it's so rewarding and so beautiful.